Hi, my name is uh, Gaurav and I'm from Kolyu Consulting. And uh, this is a quick, uh, you know, presentation slash uh, Salesforce demo slash a small training about the certain features uh, which are important to know about Salesforce when you're using Salesforce as a user, as a salesperson, as a service user, or, or could be as admin also. Uh, you know, where you are looking uh, on certain reports and dashboards and managing Salesforce. So um, this is one of the demo version which I'm using. So anyone or everyone on Salesforce would be going to this screen called login.salesforce.com. They just type in this URL, put in the username and password. Everybody will have their own username and password. So you cannot log in with the uh, you know, on a different computer without a password. So it's uh, password specific. And uh, you could also enable your OTP uh, if you want um, to log in through Salesforce through OTP also. So coming here on Salesforce, um, you are putting in the username, password, and you click on login. So the moment you click on login, you will reach to the home screen of Salesforce. The home screen of Salesforce is purely like a front page of the newspaper where you will see all the highlights. So a few of the highlights like here you can search anything. You can search or contact any record, whether it's a lead account opportunity or any of the invoice or any billing record, or it could be any of your customer, any of the phone number, email ID, anything which you will type in, you will have you know, uh, those records will be popping in. And there are certain records, like example, Eddie Lipson is one of the contact here. Account is here as Allied Technologies. There's another contact called Adam, right? There is a one file called Revenue and Pipeline. There's a group called Global Account Team. So different type of records are here through which, uh, you know, you are able to find uh, the record which you're trying to find into Salesforce. So we generally call it, you know, global search within Salesforce. Now I logged in as Uday and this is my profile. You know, if you look at Uday Nair, I click over here. I, uh, you know, I have a full profile here, what I do, how much experience do I have. Then uh, about the details, about the groups which I follow or uh, I'm part of the group or any, any person I'm trying to follow here is there and who's, uh, who's following me will be there. Any, so any files related to me, which I'm, cap uh, which I'm the owner of those files would be seen here. Anything which I've commented on Salesforce on a chatter would be seen here. So the complete profile of mine will be shown here, you know. So I can edit on it. I can change if I want to. I can put a picture over here. I can put my cover page also. Now coming, this is the another you know, section called bell cells section, which is nothing but a notification. So all the notifications about any reminders or any of your meeting would be showing here. So, uh, or it could be any approval uh, reminder for you or anything which you want to keep a you know, reminder for yourself or your calendar reminder. So all the notification will be coming over here. This notification will be avail available on desktop as well as on your mobile version. Now coming to here is a setting, uh, um, you know, Salesforce setting. So Salesforce setting is set up and setting is majorly for the admin. So I'm not going into the admin part of it. Uh, in another session, we will be definitely covering it for you. Now um, I'll start from here. So I log in um, as Uday Naya and I'm part of sales here. Okay. So I'm managing my sales so how, uh, what are the objects in my Salesforce application? So this is called as application and this is the app. Now there are certain apps here. If I want to go into service, I can click on service. If I want to go into marketing, I can click on marketing. But right now I will be clicking onto the sales one because I'm covering the sales one. No. Now, um, I'm clicking on the home page. So home page is nothing as I told you previously that home page is nothing but your you know, front page of the newspaper where you will see the hi highlights. So all of my dashboard, which I want to see in the morning when I log into Salesforce. So it's my, what is the close business so far? How much percentage of revenue, uh, you know, I might have closed versus my target. What is the sales pipeline? 
So how many deals I have in qualification stage, how many deals I have in negotiation stage and so on. What my sales team is doing. So there is Cindy, there is Ricky, there is Billy, uh, Bill, I'm so sorry. So there is Bill, Ellie. So these are their demo names. So what, what these guys are doing, how many calls they are doing, how many emails, how many presentation or how many meetings. If there is a neat task which is due for me, that will be shown here. The task can be, you know, today's task, my task, overdue task or any delegated task. Then if there's any event for me that will be shown here, any items for approval can be shown here. If I go below, there are certain more dashboards I've configured for myself, any key competitors, then your close rate by sales rep. Going down any neglected accounts, which uh, I want to see, uh, because uh, if my team has not done any sort of meetings there, I myself will go and actually make some meetings over there, whether it could be a hello, uh, to a customer, but it could be a normal email hi to my customer asking how they are feeling or how our product or services are um, You know, um, is there any kind of a complaint or compliment about our services? They can give it to us. So it's always um, um, You know these kind of a dashboards uh, managers always like because they really want to see all those accounts where no action has been performed by the team in a month or in a quarter now coming here, this is a very important thing is account news. There are three kind of news which we have set up here in this version. There is something called as account news. Uh, next one is industry news and a general business news. So all these three are different kind of news items which are coming into Salesforce in your Salesforce org. Your industry news is if you are into pharmaceuticals, obviously you will be seeing the pharmaceutical industry news. Your account news will be if you have an account called Amazon, if you have an account called Flipkart, if you have an account for you know, um, anything else. So obviously those account news which are flashing on Google would be showing here and any journal business news will be showing here which are important for your business. Now starting from here, uh, there is another section. So we will start from here called leads. In Salesforce, uh, lead is, there are little confusion which I've seen, you know, people always feel there is a confusion uh, in them. So what is suspect, what is prospect, what is inquiry, or, you know, uh, if somebody has not done a business with us so far and you're trying to chase that person. So will, whether that person is a lead or an account, what should be. So in simple language, lead is nothing but a suspect or a prospect. So who would be interested in you? or who might not be interested in you, that you're trying to chase them, you're trying to do a business with them, and uh, uh, you know, or they might have uh, shown some interest on your website and you know, uh, filled up a contact us form, and that would come over here in Salesforce. So there are certain kind of prospects, you know, there's so, uh, all the prospect will be shown here, but there are different categories here. Example, all leads. It could be all my hot leads. I really want to see my hot leads. I want to see just our leads. I want to see my leads or my, my new leads or my website leads. All those different permutation combination or the views, different views can be seen here. So we, we call it views. Basically, this is view and when you pin it, so you can also, you know, unpin and you can pin it also. So every time you can see the same view. Now I will be uh, picking up any one of them. Example, I'll pick up Charlie. So once I click on Charlie, that lead is with me right now. And he's a CEO, okay. He's from Plex Holdings and his phone number, email address and quality of the lead is coming here. And it's working right now. So it's in a working stage right now. There is no potential duplicate of this lead. There are certain more items on this lead I can see right now that, okay, fine, the name of the person, email, company, phone, priority, lead status is working. Title, city, since there's any activity has been done on this lead, what is the lead quality and how this lead quality is coming in, I will be telling you that also. So there is a lead source, which, what is the source of this lead, how this lead has come to us. So whether it's a website or social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Trade India, any event which might have done. So if it is from social media, let it be social media, what region it is from, it is from West, Central or East, it's from West. Then what is our to, uh, annu, uh, annual revenue? So that's a segmentation. You can also design, you can have more fields over here. So I'm coming to the address. So the all complete address will be coming here. Then the scoring mechanism. Scoring mechanism is a little simple, which we have uh, decided here. Example, 
person like Charlie is a decision maker or not. Definitely he's a CEO, he could be a decision maker, could be an influencer. So you can check it or uncheck it. Now, do they have a project defined or not? Do they have a budget? And what is the decision time frame? Decision time frame is immediately one to three months, three to six months, based on which there is a scoring mechanism which will be coming on the right hand side. If I say, okay, everything is checked, this 13 score might change it to something else. Let's see. And okay, so this has changed to 20. Now, there are more things which will be here. So I can see, okay, all the history, your any approval history, any files, you can upload your any files related to this lead, this prospect will be showing over here. Then this is the important section to capture your activities. In any of the record here, in any of the record here, whether it's your accounts, whether it's your opportunities, whether your leads, all your activities can be captured here. How you, how you will be capturing your activities is if you have to send an email to one, one of your prospect or one of your customer, you will go to that record. Example, Charlie. Charlie is one of my record. Okay, so I'm on this Charlie. I need to send an email to Charlie. So how, what I'll do, I'll just go here and I try to find a template here. Okay, follow up. So as soon as I click over here, you know, the complete template with an attachment would come over here and I can send it to customer from here. And my email has gone to my customer. Now, the email which has gone to customer is unopened. When the customer will open it, I will see whether it has been opened or not. Also, let us suppose I need to call a customer. So when I call a customer, the customer is not available. So I'll say voicemail, call back. Okay, and I lock my activities. It's very simple. Another thing, if I need to put a reminder for myself, okay, fine, I need to call this customer, I need to call back. I can, I can check with this. And when I need to call back, I need to call back on 16th and then just save it, fine. Now, I need to call back this customer will be coming here. Whatever the activities I've done so far, what I've did in 2017, then 2020, June, then July. And now I need to call this customer on 16th of July, it's a call back. So these are very, very important activities. So in any of the record, whether it's a lease or an account or a contact or an opportunity, there are, these are the certain activities or, uh, which you have to perform with your customer, with your prospect. And these are like, whether you're sending an email, whether you're meeting with them or whether you're going giving a call to them, all those activities will get captured over here under email, log a call, task or an event. Now, there are certain more things which I will be definitely covering uh, in my next video, which will be account, contact, and opportunity. Today, I've just covered the leads. So I would recap, just do a quick recap about what we have done so far. So quick recap that, okay, uh, login credentials will be login.salesforce.com. I will be putting a username and a password. As soon as I click on login, I'll be jumping to the home screen of Salesforce. This is a Google search or a, a, not a Google search, but a global search, I would say. And uh, this is my profile. The complete profile will be shown here. Then these are my dashboard, which I can set up over here. All my tasks, which can be seen here, all my tasks, which are overdue, are my today's task or my overdue tasks, all, all will be shown here. Then all my news items about the account news, my industry news and the general business news will be coming here. Now in Salesforce lead is nothing but a suspect or a prospect. All my leads will be showing here. This is a view. All my leads will be here. Now there are different views which I can create for my leads when I'm seeing views. So if I want to see all my leads, I can click on all leads. If I have to, uh, click on my hot leads. I can click on my hot leads. So I will only see my hot leads, right? 
if i want to see my uh, my leads only i can see all my leads so this is a different views uh, by which i will be able to segregate my data so data will remain the same is just how you see your data how you view your data so if i am uh, example my all leads so i can see my all leads and on here you know you can see certain charts which you can also create so lead by source so if i hover on any of uh, the source you can say okay how many leads i created uh, created through cold calling how many through registration how many through you know if the the source is not mentioned here here is website how many is through social media how many through marketing events all these can be changed and if i want to change my graph the donut is here i can make it a vertical bar and i can make it horizontal bar also so if i do not want to see my charts i can just change it now i also want to see all my leads what are their stages on on what stage the lead is on so if i click on the kanban view so kanban view is totally different i can see all my leads here 52 leads are on new status which i have not touched 20 leads are on working status four are unqualified only one appointment has been fixed so far so if i let us suppose i'm talking to steve and steve uh, is on working i can just drag and drop then Sayoban also, then Jiram, Teresa. Let us suppose I, Teresa had given me an appointment. I spoke to her and then Teresa has given me the appointments and I'll just push it over here. So all the drag and drop, you know, I can do it. These are the unqualified leads. And obviously when I was talking to Jiram, so he did not, uh, um, you know, um, he might have, un this lead might have been unqualified then I can convert it to unqualified. This is how, you know, I will be able to change my lead statuses quickly and immediately. So I click on leads again. So I'm just recapping one more time. These are the views by which you can change the view of a lead. You can have different folders here. Oh, sorry, you can, you can create different charts. You click on all leads and then you can create different charts over here by lead by source or any other filter. You, you can change the filter from here. If you want to import all your leads into Salesforce, you can click on import section and you can change it. If you want a printable view, you can click on printable view and you can take a printable view of this whole complete structure. So all your leads will be shown here, all of them. And you can, you know, print this page. So I will be, co I've covered only till leads. In my next session, um, you know, I'll be covering accounts, contact and opportunity. Thereafter, we'll be covering files and chatter. And the next section will be covering reports and dashboards. Thank you very much.